Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. Um, and today I have a, another episode of base reviews for y'all. So if you're in my clan, Golgotha, you better watch out because I'm coming for you. Um, first announcement for Golgotha, guys. We had a feeder clan and some troll took it over and kicked everybody out. So you know what? I'm not even going to bother with it right now. If you want to copy Golgotha and make a clan, go ahead. I don't really care. Um, yeah, and if the troll that did that is watching... Uh, good job. I hope you had fun with that. I really don't care that you did that. <laughs> but anyways, let's jump into this. Uh, we are going to do we are going to do base reviews for people in my clan, guys. I've tried doing I've tried doing the subscriber base reviews, and it's really hard because so many of you comment, and then you're not in the same clan whenever I go to it. It's really really frustrating for me because it takes up a lot of my time looking through trying to find you guys. So yeah, why don't we go ahead and jump into this? I'm gonna review Todd up here at the top. Mr. Master League himself. Let's go ahead and check out his base. Now I've never been in Master League before, but um, I think that I can. I think I can do a pretty good job of reviewing his base. Obviously, his walls are crushing it. Um, he has level eight and level nine walls right here in the middle, which are very very pricey. Um, so definitely props to you with that, Todd. A lot of people um, up at Town Hall Ten still have really crappy level six and level seven walls. So first off, awesome job with that. Next, you do have the Clan Castle Centralized, which I think is one of the best defenses, if not the, the best defense, when you are in a good clan. Um, and I know that our clan donates a lot because I'm in it. <laughs> so awesome job with that being centralized. Your Wizard Towers cover the entire base for the most part, and they are level 7. Awesome job with that. Your defenses are pretty much maxed out to the full right now. Um, you're definitely crushing that. Um, you know, I, I honestly don't have too much to say about this. You're doing great with your, your mortars being in a triangle, your air defenses as well, all being centralized. I know that up in Master League there are a lot of, um, dragon attacks and things of that sort. I know now people are using witches, so your, the fact that you have your mortars and your wizards upgraded well, that's definitely going to help against the witches, um. So good job with that, man. I honestly don't have too much to say with this. I definitely wish that I had your base, but I am only a measly Town Hall 8. Uh, so Todd, crushing it, man. Thanks for being in the clan. Um, awesome base. Keep up the good work, man. That's what I'm talking about. Let's return home and go back and look for another base. Um, as the clouds part, we click up here. And I know that Seth has been wanting his base reviewed. Um, I don't think I passed him. Seth is right here, level 72, um, and I believe he is a Town Hall 9, if I remember correctly. So let's go ahead and check out his base. Yes, he is a Town Hall 9. You can see from the Expos, which are full and rotating around right now. So good job with that. The first thing that I noticed is that your Clan Castle is off to the side. Um, I don't know if you're, if you're protecting your Dark Elixir <coughs> because you're trying to upgrade your Barbarian King or something. But I would probably switch that out with your clan castle because people can draw your troops out over here. Um, and your expos won't be able to reach them while they kill your troops. So I would definitely consider putting the clan castle in the middle. Um, it is good to see your mortars are level 6 and that they are um, in a triangulated pattern. I believe that you can upgrade those, but I would definitely focus on upgrading your wizard towers, which are all about to be level 5. Um... I believe that you can get those up to level 7 at Town Hall 9, because at Town Hall 8, I can get them up to level 6. So I think that would be very, very important for you. Wizards are, Wizard Towers are probably my favorite defense in the game. Um, mortars are pretty close, but I definitely think Wizard Towers are my favorite. Um, and they're the most effective, so definitely, it's good to see you upgrading them, but you're upgrading them from level 4. So you definitely need to get those maxed out um, as, as quick as you can. Uh, air defenses are level 3. You should probably get those up to level 4. If all of them are up to level 4, I think that'll make a big difference. Um, those aren't nearly as important as wizard towers, in my opinion. But if you are getting attacked a lot by dragons or things of that sort, then upgrade them, you know. But otherwise, I wouldn't really worry about it too much. Um, it looks like your Tesla towers are all level 1. Uh, if you're not getting attacked by P.E.K.K.A.s, then don't worry about upgrading those as quickly as the wizard towers but those should still definitely be on your radar to update um, or to upgrade it looks like you might have rushed town hall 9 just a little bit with where all of your defenses are you have some level 8 cannons etc so i definitely wouldn't go up to town hall 10 anytime soon um, i do like the layout of your base 
it looks pretty good. Um, if it's working for you, keep at it. Um, only thing I would really suggest is bring your clan castle into the middle, as well as continuing to upgrade your wizards and uh, your air defenses and really all your defenses. <laughs> but Seth, good job. I like the layout. It's good to see that you do have level 6 walls. A lot of people aren't even up to that, so good job with that. Let's jump back in here, part through the clouds, and go and check out our little info button and see who else we can attack. I think I'm going to go down to my buddy and co-worker, JV Brock. This is Jonathan. You can call him JV. Um, but let's go ahead and check out his base. He is a Town Hall level 7, and he's doing an awesome job of maxing it out before he goes up to Town Hall 8. Since he sits next to me at work, I tell him all the time, I'm like, make sure you max it because I wished that I had maxed it. I mean, he has level 5 air defenses. He's got level 4 wizards. Level 5 mortars, everything is is pretty much maxed out for Town Hall 7 right now. Um, I bet you that other Town Hall 7s can't really mess with him because of how well everything is upgraded, which is exactly what you need to do. If you're thinking of going to a different Town Hall level and you're not maxed out, get rid of that thought because you're going to regret it. You're really going to regret it. It's not worth going up to Town Hall 9 just to get an expo when your wizards are level 2. It's, it's going to make it worse for you. <laughs> um, I'm very, very adamant about that. But anyways, Jonathan, this looks awesome. Your clan castle is in the middle. Your mortars are triangulated. You have an air defense in the middle. Um, that definitely looks awesome. You only have two wizard towers, which sucks, because you'll get one at Town Hall 8. Um, but uh, honestly, I mean, for Town Hall 7, like, you're crushing it. So keep that up, JV. Um, guys, again, if you are thinking about rushing to another Town Hall level, do not do it. You will regret it. I promise you. Read the forums on it. <laughs> um, Alright, why don't we go ahead and review, I don't know, maybe two more. Um, let's go ahead and review, you know, let's review Rhino. Alright. I'm just looking through here randomly. I know that a lot of my subs and a lot of my clanmates have asked me to review their bases. But I can't even review his because it got owned. <laughs> so let's jump back in here and see if we can find a different one. But guys, I know that a lot of you have asked for me to review your base. Um, it's hard remembering who all has asked. Let's review Tomos. Um, it's hard to remember who all has asked, so I'm sorry if I didn't get to you. I will try to next time. Um, gosh, we can't review his either because his got attacked. Alright, if this, if this third one isn't a charm, then we'll, uh, we'll probably go ahead and cut the video, but Let's give it one more chance, and you know what, why don't we check out Aguari, or whatever your name is. Um, let's see how your base is doing. Please don't be destroyed. Alright, sweet. So, Town Hall 8, looking real good. Um, yeah, this is an awesome looking Town Hall 8. He has two level 6 wizards, with one going on the way up to 5. Level 10 cannons, which is really, really, really good. You're maxing those out. Um, Archer Towers at level 8. 8, level 9, you got a, most of them are level 9, um, so that's definitely really good. Awesome to see the clan castle right here in the middle. Your mortars are triangulated as well as your wizard towers. Your air defenses are almost triangulated. Um, I might consider taking this elixir right here and putting it over here where this air defense is and bringing that air defense right down here where this elixir is. That way it'll be in more of a triangle and it'll cover almost all of your base. Um, and the surrounding area, because right now your top, the top of your base has a whole lot of protection when it comes to air. Um, if you're getting attacked by air a lot up there, then keep them there, but I would consider moving this air defense right here, over down here to where this level 11 elixir storage is, just so you get a little bit more of a triangle out of it. Um, otherwise, man, this base looks really, really good. Great to see all of your walls being at level 7. Um, good job with that. One thing I might consider doing is bringing in your collectors um, closer to the walls just so that your uh, your defenses can protect them a little bit better. It's not too bad right now, but if someone were to drop an archer right up here by the spell factory, um, neither of your defenses would be able to, uh, to get it. Um, same with this elixir collector right here. This cannon would not be able to get archers if it was attacking it, but if you moved it in, the cannon would be able to take out the archers. So that's just one little idea. You don't have to do it, but I've always done that. Otherwise, man, your base looks freaking awesome. Um, you're really, really well upgraded, and you are moving up to Town Hall 9. I think that's a good decision at this point. All you really need to do is uh, get this wizard tower 
up with the others, and I think you're going to be good, man. It looks really, really good. Um, that's definitely my goal when it comes to my bases, um, working up and maxing out before I move on. Why don't we go ahead and review one more. I'm just going to scroll and click, and <laughs> Nav1279. It's your lucky day, man. Um, Nav G Hat or whatever your name is. I've seen you on YouTube a couple of times. But it looks like your base is destroyed and you have a whole bunch of build on buildings randomly spread out throughout your base. Um, yeah, I don't know why it looks like that. Whatever. Alright guys, we're going to cut the video right here. Thank you so much to all my subscribers for watching. You guys rock and I mean that. Um, check back later for more videos. Subscribe if you want to stay in the loop. And uh, like the video if you do. And I will talk to you guys later. Make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, alright? See ya.